Hi, Nak people. Uh, this is my lovely uh, caber, Becca Neka. I sharpened this knife last night. However, I was not able to enough sharpness. Uh, I used uh, super fine ceramic rods with the spider sharp maker. However, I wasn't. There should be a reason. Not smooth. Uh, I think there must be microchips here and there because I ever once use this knife very roughly to collect edible plants push this knife into mud and dig up cut the root and dig up the plants that was very wrong for this knife that wasn't a knife job i understand i never do like that from now this is my important knife. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, hmm. at least uh, five, six, seven uh, microchips there. I must uh, reprofile uh, the edge uh, geometry and then uh, make a new edge. I have four kinds of rod. Diamond, uh, rough ceramic, fine ceramic, and uh, the bottom is red painted, super fine ceramic uh, to get rid of uh, microchips. I use diamond and uh, rougher ceramic on the third degree back bevel side here we go uh, this diamond is very rough and uh, quite much remove the metal from the edge uh, can you look at this irregular edge and this is after sharpening by spider for sharp maker I can't believe it impossible uh, this steel uh, in cable uh, some my uh, becker uh, neck knife no good this is made in Japan still uh, 
here. You look at this. Brittle. I understand. Only this way can help this knife from that disastrous situation. A very low grade steel, in my opinion. A very brittle. Doesn't take uh, my regular voyage sharpening way, spider sharp maker. It's convexing for me, for this knife, I believe. And this Becker Necker accept my convexing very well. This is a convex uh, Becker Necker. Uh, more beautiful than before. Um, the laminated line is uh, now very quiet, uh, you know. Formerly, the edge is black and uh, side blade is satin finished. Now, uh, total mirror finish. I said uh, this uh, steel is brittle. That might be wrong, in high probability. I use this diamond rod in hurry with might. This system touches the edge just one point, this angle. So, very strong power is added from this point to the edge. So, the edge uh, take much power right, left, right, left, alternately and the crack took place and looked brittle and the edge was ruined that was correct story I guess and uh, I'll test uh, from now uh, this sharpness I add uh, uh, steep convex blended uh, to spare time if I uh, did full convexing, it would take five hours. However, it took me uh, just two and a half hours because I spare time to blend steep convex on the edge. Shining part, very shining part, is steep convex uh, blended. So. It has uh, practical sharpness, however, not razor sharp. Uh, this is uh, Bravo Neca 2. Well, uh, this is razor, razor sharp. Amazingly sharp. Incredible. And CKC, uh, Hiker, uh, Light Hunter. Crazy sharp. Not so much. This is the sharpest now. And uh, 
WM1. Whoa. Hmm. Same as the CKC and uh, Izula. Hmm. Not uh, very sharp. Uh, practical sharp. And uh, from folder and uh, so uh, plus two. Yes. This is also practical sharp. Not very sharp. Okay. I'll test these six knives in wood uh, cutting. Uh, this is the sharpest so far. Uh, convex baker. Okay. Next. Bravo. CKC not uh, convex mm. no good mm. convex has advantage I'll check again mm. Becker mm. Mm. NL5 item. Ah, sorry. WM1. Baker is better. Go away. Baker is better. Very good. Mm. This is not very good. In these two, the best is Becker or, you know, mm. Bravo. Full height convex. Sharpest knife. Mm. Mm. Yes, I get the conclusion. This sharpest knife, shallow convex, full height. Blabo, uh, Mecca 2 is the best knife for this job. Still, Razor sharp. Uh, very impressive knife. Good one. 